V1. Alright, so coming up to the midway point in our flight, we've set up a couple of things for the arrival. We'll get to the charts in just a second. I'll walk you through what has been done so far. We have our MDA of 1,500 feet. That'll be 3.4 nautical miles away from the city uh, NDB. Our decision height is 460. I cross-referenced our landing weight with the uh, handy tables that Majestic supplies with the aircraft. 112 is our VREF, 117 is our V approach. We've set up the radios, so we have the ILS on both. Uh, nope, we have the ILS, yes, sorry, uh, on both sides, even though I'll be using it on the right hand side only. We have our ADF tuned to the city NDB. And that's pretty much it. Can I think of anything else? Oh, yeah, the GPWS landing flap, we've set that to 35. It is a steep approach, we're going to need all the drag we can possibly muster, which on this aircraft is quite a bit. So that should be it. Uh, we will set our VNAV path and the FMC in just a second, once we have a look at the weather and the charts. So the weather at London City, temperature 16, dew point 19, the surface winds out of the northeast at 11 knots, uh, good visibility, high pressure, clear skies, so that's good. We're going to need all the uh, help we can get in terms of this approach, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, if you remember from earlier, our the last waypoint on our flight plan was Wafu. Uh, so I've selected the Alkin 3 Foxtrot arrival into London City, which basically if we go down here, we can read uh, arrival, blah, 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 Wafu, then Bexel, Rokos, Rokos to Sandy, Sandy to Bondi, Bondi to Detling VOR, Detling VOR, turn left, VOR, blah, 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 Alkin. Uh, the important things, flight level 80 by Sandy, so when we set up our VNAV, we will be plugging in flight level 80 by Sandy, then down to 4000 for the Detling VOR. So by Sandy, which is up here, we'll, we'll be at Wafu, coming down here to Sandy. Sandy, we want to be at flight level 80, the transition at City is uh, 6000. From Sandy, we go into an altitude. We want to descend to 4,000 by Detling, then Detling to Alkin. From there, we're going to be overflying the field because, and here it comes, here is the approach procedure. It is a procedural approach into city. We are basically going to overfly the field, the city NDB of uh, frequency 322. We already have that set up. The ILS frequency is 111.15. Uh, so we're coming in from Alkin and then over the field, then an outbound leg, we are category C aircraft on the approach, remember that. Uh, so an outbound leg of 306 to 5 DME, so very tight. Then a sweeping left to our inbound course of 094 to our FAF, which is right about here, 3.4 DME. If we look at the vertical, we want to be at 2,000 feet overhead the field, so at LCY. Then on our outbound leg, we keep that 2,000 feet and then swing it back inbound and at 3.4 we pick up the glide, the steep glide uh, which is at uh, 5 degrees I believe, 5.5 degree glide path all the way down to the field, our minimums being 460. Uh, over here on the airfield chart, this is what the airfield looks like. We'll be coming in on runway 9, probably have to swing it around at some point and then back onto uh, Link Taxiway Delta and then onto the apron. I've already selected stand number six for our arrival, if everything should go well. If not, we fire it off to Gatwick, and uh, we apologize to the passengers who have to make their way into the city somehow. Probably refund them some taxi money or something. So back in the flight deck, we'll get all of that put into our FMS. Uh, we can go to flight plan, menu, arrive. We want zero 09. We want the Alkin 3 Foxtrot, number 3, the approach of the ILS, like so. Uh, LC, uh, that one, Alkin 1. Coming up over here, we are going to cross the channel, and then let's tighten this up a little bit. Wafu, Vexil, all of that checks out. 
Rocco Sandy. Let's see if the altitudes are in. Yeah, Sandy at 8. Detling at 4. Then we have a no link, so we'll probably have to clear that. Uh, yep, yeah, between Alkin and overhead the field. Then we've got IO9, Corsa, la, la. So we can tell we have the correct one entered into the FMS because our outbound leg is 306, and then uh, our turn to final. I'd like to get configured, so we have to be at 2000 over the field. I'd like to get fully configured by the time we make this uh, turn here to our base leg. That is the plan. It's going to be a steep approach. It's going to be challenging. Uh, we'll leave it in automatics until uh, the last, well, if the automatics comply with me this time, until the last possible minute. Let's we'll see how it goes. As for the VNAV path, we want to be at flight level 80 by uh, Sandy. So, 1.5, like so, no offset at 8,000. Let's go with a nice shallow descent initially. And now we have our top of descent, 287 nautical miles. I definitely won't keep you here for the whole thing. So we'll talk to each other when uh, we get a little bit closer. Welcome back to the flight deck. We do have some ATC in the form of London Control. You were just listening to London City ATIS. We now have information at Sierra, expecting runway 09, so all of that is already set. We are approaching the English Channel, and we'll be talking to London City South in just a little bit. So we just cleared France, we can go ahead and get the seat uh, belt signs on, get those passengers seated, and let's call up London City. London, good afternoon, Skyways 46 Bravo-8400, flight level 240, we have information to Sierra. Skyways 46 Bravo, London, hello, walk 0302. Alkin 3 Foxtrot arrival. Squawk 0302, Alkin 3 Foxtrot arrival. Skyways 46 Bravo. So, we will. Express 974, contact. Can we get direct in 0302? 03. Interstate station 825, for get direct over. Express 974. 2, like so. There we go. Apologies if uh, ATC is a little bit loud, or uh, if I don't get the volumes right on the first go, we will persevere. So coming up to Anglo, then Neville, then Ospol, Hawk, Beach, Wafu. Wafu is our final waypoint on our flight plan. ATC has covered, uh, or cleared us rather, on the Alkin 3 Foxtrot arrival, which we already had programmed into our... Oh, it's 46 Bravo, route direct to Wafu. Route direct Wafu, Skyways 46 Bravo, thank you. So that's nice of them. They gave us a route direct, so we can go D2, and then choose Wafu on our flight plan. Uh, 27, like so. Enter. There we go. Now we've got it on both sides. You can see we're kind of coming up through the channel and then over to Sandy, and then there's our arrival into London City. Not too exciting yet, but ATC is going to be with us all the way to landing, so that's always nice. I'd like to get configured, as always, nice and early, especially for this approach on the outbound leg. We'll get fully configured. We'll take this nice and slow into London City definitely interesting. It looks like you're nosediving right for the ground. It's it's definitely an interesting perspective. So, uh, yeah, that's always fun. So the passengers are city seated. Uh, everything looks to be set up. We'll leave the packs on norm for now. 
Uh, we can run through the descent checklist in just a little while. Our top of descent is coming up just after Wafu. Uh, so it's going to be uh, flight level 80 by Sandy, and then down to 4000 at the Detling VOR. Hmm. Wondering what I can ramble about until we get a little bit closer. Not much in terms of traffic. Looks like London City or South. London South control is not too, too busy, which is always nice. We can go ahead and set the Q&H on the uh, standby altimeter. Uh, 3053. So if we do this and this and this, we can do this. 053. Just make sure that's going to be set. 53. There we go. I guess I'll bring you back when something exciting happens, like we hit top of descent, or ATC gives us another call. Nine nine two four. Descend flight level seven zero. Descend left heading one zero degrees. You have about three zero coming miles. One zero degrees. Shut up, three Yankee. Thank you. Shut up, three Yankee. We used to be two two zero. Two zero. Not sure, three Yankee. Shut up, three Yankee. Thank you. Shut up, three Yankee. We used to be two two zero. Two zero. Not sure, three Yankee. Skyways four six Bravo Eiffel. Skyways four six Bravo route direct Detling. So we have another direct two. We are going direct to Detling VOR. Direct to Yankee, descend to altitude 5,000 feet, QNH 1034. Descend 5,000 feet, QNH 1034, shut up for Yankee. That's a nice little uh, shortcut as well. 994, then 290 degrees, speed 220 knots. So that kind of throws off our VNAV. We're in control for the evening, this shrine there will push another. Whiskey Bravo, you follow the one five zero direct to Kenneth. Whiskey Bravo, London Control Roger, redirect to Midhurst. I don't even miss the sound. Okay, I'm going to show the entry. Sorry, 46 Bravo, descend to flight level 190. Descend flight level 190, Skyway 46 Bravo. 190. And we can plug in VNAV, like... Do it, 9924, descend to altitude 4000 feet, QNH 1034. And we'll pull back and on turn left the eight, power. 120 degrees, once the localizer is established, 09 left, like so. descend on the ground. 120 degrees, QNH 09 left, shut up, Frankie. Right now, 14 Whiskey Bravo, reach mid first Holly Willow. Roger, Derek. Meteor is fully at the Willow already. Right. 9924, reduce speed to 180. 150 feet, 4,000 on the meter. Did you get? Do the 304 under control, good evening. Four high down to climb now, flight level 140. Scorch and 140, speed Then 994, turn right heading 265. 100. Down to flight level 100, to Skyways 46 Bravo. So we'll keep that descent going. Sorry about that, uh, wrong button. Down to flight level 100, Skyways 46 Bravo. Forgot the PTT. Here comes the VNAV, so we could just go ahead and VNAV it. Like so. And then, so we're continuing this shallow descent, and then it's going to pick up to 1,800 uh, feet per minute descent in just a second. There we are. So we can go ahead and keep pulling back on the power. 
Uh, descent checklist. Pressurization is set. GPWS flaps as required. 35. Briefing. MSA speeds, decision height, MDA. So our MDA is 1500. Our decision height is 460. Briefing. Well, we're headed inbound to Detling. We're under ATC control. We will overfly the field, then outbound, then back inbound. Briefing complete. Pull back on the throttle just a little bit more. Try to keep it at 250 knots. Nine nine two four, confirm maintaining four. Heading six two one seven, fly heading one zero zero zero. Heading one zero zero degrees out, six two one seven. Skyway four six Bravo, descend flight level seven zero. Descend flight level seven zero, Skyway four six Bravo. That is Heading now six two one seven, seven. fly flight level two nine zero. Up to the frequency is one zero nine the runway zero nine right. Not the runway zero nine. Expect uh ILS zero nine, Skyway's four six problem. Uh, I expect runway zero eight right, speed will three four eight two off. Skyway four six Bravo, descend to altitude four thousand feet. QNH1034. Down to 4,000, Skyway is 46 Bravo. So we'll really pitch it down. We'll trade off some of that altitude for some speed. Just keeping an eye on that. We're still under 250, so that's fine. Here Down comes the VNAV path. Right heading 105 there we go. You read nine nine two four. There's no further speed restriction. So, you can see there. Once I set the local Q and H, uh, because it's a high pressure area, uh, we were way above our uh, intended VNAV path. Uh, so I, and and the autopilot basically responded by. Uh, completely kicking out of okay. VNAV path okay. and just going okay. into pitch hold. So, uh, no warnings, no bells, no whistles, nothing. So that's definitely something you have to keep aware of uh, in this aircraft, is that the okay. autopilot will switch modes uh, without, without any real fanfare or, or warning. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the ND a little bit. Now we're getting a little bit fast on the speed, so we'll pull back a little bit on the throttles again. I want to be at about 240 knots. Skyway 46 Bravo, turn left at 330 degrees. Left 330, Skyway 46 Bravo. So we can go ahead and kick it out of that. Uh, we're going to put it in vertical, uh, vertical speed. Yeah. And we'll keep it at 1800 feet. Nine nine two four contact tower one one eight decimal five. And All now right. we've got a heading. One two eight decimal five. Even nine nine two four. I think the so still watching that speed. Still coming down past uh, flight level seven zero. But now we're in the local Q and H. Keep it at about 140 ish knots. And we have radar vectors. I'm going to go ahead and put the nav source preemptively on ILS. And go ahead and set that up. Not getting any guidance, that's fine. No problem. But because we're getting radar vectors, the FMS kind of doesn't really serve me any purpose. So, uh, let's go ahead and do the approach checklist. So we've got the altimeters, Q&H is set, fuel transfers off, fuel, pump fuel pumps can come on. Auto feather can come on. Uh, standby hydraulic and PTU go on. Uh, passenger signs are four six Bravo. Descend to altitude three thousand. Down to three thousand. Skyway is four six Bravo. So now we have three thousand feet. 
Do this 304, I'll contact the first one to raise the second one. Bye bye. Uh, caution panel is black, cabin is secure. <laughs> Next one up is the landing. And I want to see if I'm reaching to Holly, Hotel Oscar, in the Lumi Yank. Hey, game man, I want to the rebel. Reaching to Holly, then will I? And we'll tighten up the ND there. on the captain's side. So the approach checklist is complete. Speed still a little eight. bit high, but that's okay. Three four zero, speed return one. Uber three four eight zero, descent level nine zero. Thousand to go. Descent to flight level nine zero, uh, speed three four eight zero. By now one four, whiskey bravo contact. Gatwick director one two six decimal eight two five. You can see on our MFD, we have about 16 and a half nautical miles to the field. We are getting lateral guidance, still no vertical guidance, that's okay. Slow to about 220-ish knots. Shamrock 348, the heading section will require to have a good... Yeah, stay here in Shamrock 348, you've got... Shamrock 348, we do more navigation. Got to feed in the power now. Yeah. Put it. This has one nine to send to our Two hundred and twenty-ish knots. There we go. What I'm going to do for the FMC's cleaning up sake uh, is I'm going to go direct to. Two hundred and twenty-one nine to send to our Two hundred and twenty-one nine. There we go. So now we've got a little bit more of a clean line. We're headed direct to LCY-ish, but we're on uh, radar vectors, essentially. Speed's coming down, so I'll try to keep that between 210 and 220. We'll slow it down to 200 when we get over the field, then 170-ish on the outbound leg. Swing it around, keep the speed coming back, get the flaps out, get the gear out, and hopefully put it on the ground. I'm sorry, so can you my three foot? Shamrock 348, direct to Golf, Tango, Quebec. Direct Golf, Tango, Quebec, Shamrock 348. 2 turn right, heading 0, 7, 0, 8 degrees, once we have to establish 0, 9, left, descend on the right. Roger, 0, 7, 0, once established on the air, left, descend on the right, not the speed, burn, 7, 1, 9. Uh, say the heading one more time, and down to 2000, Skywest 46, Bravo. Heading 280. Thank you. Left 280. Skyway is 46 Bravo. So, left turn. Coming in. Down to 2,000 feet on the altitude. Put it in vertical speed. Punch it down to 300. So he's bringing us in from the other side. Interesting. And keep that speed coming down. one eight zero uh, knots or less. Sky was four six Bravo. <laughs> It's on 9171 London, squawk 0 So, we're down to 180 knots, we can bring out flaps 5, like so. Gonna kick the props all the way up. Not messing about today. Is that about 170-ish? Fine with me. Okay. 
I am going to. Oh boy, is it so long? Sorry, four six five eight turn right heading three six zero. Right heading three six zero. Skyway is four six five zero. All right, keep that speed coming back. I'm going to drop the gear, and we will do flaps ten. Hundred and sixty, hundred and let's do hundred and fifty knots. Over the city. Beautiful. I'm sorry, that might have not been on frequency, but uh three six uh, zero is the heading for Skyways four six Bravo. Four six five thank you. I did hear you this time. Uh, turn line heading zero six zero degrees. Once established on the local line with zero nine, descend on the time. Right her, uh, further right to zero three zero uh, uh, degrees, and uh, once on the uh, localizer, descend with the glide. Sky was four six five. Heading zero six zero I almost knew it when I was coming out of my mouth. Zero six zero, the heading. Sky was four six Bravo. Appreciate the scenic approach. He didn't like that. Okay, that's okay. Uh, we'll go to nav. We'll get the localizer <laughs> armed. <laughs> Gonna bring out flaps fifteen. Not gonna mess about too much with the uh, scenicness of all of this because we have a job to do. So I will arm approach. Glide slope is armed. Localizer is alive. Gonna keep that speed coming back. Now. Landing checklist. Ice protection not required. Landing gear is down, three green. Condition levers, max, flaps. Well, we'll put out the last stage now. Like so. We have an approach-ish speed. Keep it at about 125. It's fine with me. Like so. After landing, backtrack as required and taxi stand 4. Appreciate it. We were assigned stand 6, but we'll go to 4. Clear to land, runway 09, backtrack approved. Skyways 46 Bravo. So here comes the localizer, or the uh, glide slope. Bravo, stand 6 is approved. Well, thank you very much. Stand 6 is approved. Skyways 46 Bravo. Here we go. Let's get that power back. Oh, maybe not that far. Glide slope is coming down. Come on. Descend. Descend. I don't want to be high on this approach. Speed's looking good. Let's get established on this glide. Uh, so bleeds are min and flaps are set at 35 and indicating 35. Checklist complete. Here we go. Speed's getting away from us. Uh, no channel, I'll put this straight to you. Speed mode not 2578, roger, maintain 6,000, contact network director 126, that's Got the speed under control now. We are a little bit low. I'm gonna go ahead and take the autopilot out. Let's do this manually. We're a little bit low, that's fine. Actually, let's put in a little bit of power. Let's level it out a little bit. The last Light part slow. of this is is the the you know the part that catches me out. All right, now we can go ahead and pitch it down. Can't trim this aircraft for the life of me. There we go. We're a little bit low on the glide. This is looking pretty good. One hundred. Fifty. 
I don't wanna float it, I don't wanna float it, I don't wanna float it. We're down. Frequency is going nuts. Reverse is in. That was 60 knots, 30 knots. Take out the reverse. So, the, the controller already uh, approved us, rather, for the, um, <laughs> I never turned the landing lights on. Nobody saw that. So the controller approved us for the backtrack, and we were assigned four, but I decided stand six would be more appropriate. We will swing it around. Let's taxi to the stand. We'll go ahead and shut off the transponder. Like so. And then good evening, Speedbird 315, always with you, uh, just passing flight level 300. I should call Charlie Rival for a gateway. Speedbird 315, back over to white, uh, uh, red rather.
Well, thanks for joining me, everyone, on another trip with Fly UK. We're off to a great start in our virtual career, with over five hours flying time, and with that, a promotion to Class E Captain. I'm looking forward to the new routes, new aircraft, and new adventures with our airline. Until then, I wish you all blue skies, tailwinds, and I'll see you in the next episode.